let's understand what is the concept behind prepared statement and its usage. Let's assume that you have developed an application using Java. You are fetching data from the database using JDBC. Let's say that you wish to fetch customer data from database. Depending on user interaction, fetching the list of customers or fetching details of a specific customer are repetitive actions. So your application could be firing same SQL command again and again to database. From database perspective, database has to do the same set of work again and again for the repetitive query. Instead, you can optimize the query processing. This is achieved by using prepared statement interface provided by JDBC. Because of a prepared statement, same SQL query is sent to database with different parameters and hence database compiles the query only once. And for subsequent queries, it uses the same pre-compiled SQL query. That means database has to do less work when same SQL command or query is received for execution again. This results into better response time at the database level. We are in the JDBC workspace. This time we will learn how to use prepared statements for handling parameterized queries. Let's open project query ADV that is advanced queries. The source folder contains a package DB. From this package, let's select Java file dbutil.java. The code inside dbutil.java is carried forward from the earlier hands-on session where we learned how to use statement interface as well as result set. Let's go to the print order details function. I have done a bit of a cleanup here so that it contains only the main try catch block, finally block and the while loop to process the results. This time we will use prepared statement to select some of the columns from orders table by passing parameters in the where clause. The select statement is already provided in the comments. Let's first verify our SQL using MySQL query browser. Let's log in into the MySQL query browser. Let's make sure that we have selected the test database. Let me paste the query which was provided in Eclipse as part of the comments and let me rearrange it. Now let's make sure we pass meaningful parameter values. So amount greater than 100 and customer ID equal to 1. And then let me execute this. Here we see the results. It shows two records, one with amount 100, other with amount 200. Now let's switch back to Eclipse workspace. We need to use prepared statement for the parameterized query. The variable PS, which is a prepared statement, is already defined. So let's first create the prepared statement object using ps equal to con dot prepared statement method call. To this method we need to pass the SQL. So let's paste the SQL and of course we need to make some rearrangement of that SQL here. Note the placeholders for the parameter value here in the SQL. Select ID, order date, amount from orders where cust ID equal to question mark and order amount greater than or equal to question mark. 
These question marks or placeholders are also called as bind parameters. 